Good morning, Hollow Table Heroes, and welcome back to another Galaxy of Heroes video with your bald-headed boy, Scribble. That's right, it's me. We've made ourselves to Friday, and that means only one thing. We're about to be galactically challenged. We find ourselves high above the skies of Jakku, facing off against the First Order. It is, once again, a fleet galactic challenge. That's right, there's no Gunkins here today. I'm sure they'll be back on Monday. Uh, yeah, fleet! Fleet guys, absolutely phenomenal. The global modifier is last stand. Essentially, once the ship's protection reaches 0%, and this is any ship, they're going to gain retribution per turn. If they fall below 50% health, they're going to gain defense up. And if they go below 25% health, they're going to get damage immunity per turn. All of these buffs can be dispelled. They're not undispellable, and you can actually skip an entire phase. So if you actually do enough damage to one-tap someone, they're not going to get that damage immunity, etc, etc. So, Afterburners is another modifier. At the start of each attacker's turn, they're going to gain speed up for a turn. And whenever an attacker is targeted by the enemy, if they have speed up, they'll lose it and gain chaff for one turn. They'll be a little bit chafed. So our modifiers, our beneficial modifiers, are for the resistance faction. That's hold those fleet. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Whenever we resist, oh, well, sorry, whenever the enemy resists a detrimental effect from our resistance allies, we are going to gain heal up over time. Just heal over time, not heal up over time. Heal over time for a single turn. Whenever a resistance ally gains a buff like that, heal over time, we're gonna be stacking potency, crit chance, and crit damage until the end of battle and gain 10% turn meter. So we are going to be a chonky. I'm gonna get chunky in this business. All right, Relentless Pursuit is the enemy's modifier. Whenever they score a critical hit, they're gonna gain protection up for two turns, and hunted enemies deal 50% less damage to First Order allies. If a First Order ally defeats a hunted enemy, they're going to recover 100% health and protection. A little bit tricky, a little bit tricky. So let's look at the feats then. What do we need to do? We need to win with five resistance ships. That's quite a bit. Fortunately, the resistance fleet is actually okay at this point, and we're only facing off against the First Order. We also need to complete the battle without losing a unit, and that's probably the harder thing to do with the resistance fleet. And we need to complete the battle after gaining taunt three or more times. Let's break this down. So we're going to look to get all the feats done with one team here. I'm using a Radus fleet. Obviously, we're going to take in Houndstooth instead of the SF-17 as our starting ship, simply because the Houndstooth is a lot tankier than the SF-17. We want to try and get that ship to survive. We're also taking Poe Dameron's X-Wing, and we're taking Ray's Millennium Falcon. The most important ship to have here is going to be Zori Bliss's comeuppance. This is our damage dealer. This is what really pushes this fleet into overdrive. Apart from that, we've got the last resistance ship here, the resistance X-Wing. We've got the SF-17, and I'm taking in Plo Koon as a reinforcement because he can heal up and give us some additional speed. All right, let's do this. Coffee is my friend. Okay, so here we go. Now, what's going to happen at the start is we should get an early turn from Houndstooth, and you want to try and land that... Uh, breach on the enemy. If it doesn't happen, they can dispel your taunt with Houndstooth, which can make things a little bit awkward. We're going to start off with just a basic from our Millennium Falcon, over, well, our raised Millennium Falcon over here, and then we're going to use the second special from Holdo. That's going to give us some additional buffs, give us some healing, give us some turn meter, all that good business. Second special over here from Poe Dameron's X-Wing. We just want to focus exclusively on that silencer. Don't like it. Don't like its face. Um... See, we could attack it right now, but it's just going to counterattack, and I don't like that. So we're just going to wiggle here with that Millennium Falcon. The Silencer has now lost its retribution, which is great. Their first reinforcement is almost always the Houndstooth, which is fabulous. Save that AoE from Millennium Falcon until after you reinforce with your comeuppance. Comeuppance should always be that first reinforcement, guys. You use the special from the comeuppance. Ooh, we're going to get a big AoE hit. Unfortunately, the Houndstooth has got damage immunity. Hopefully we can trigger... Oh, yes, gotten rid of the silencer. That's absolutely what we're looking for. Unfortunately, now we're stuck behind a damage immune um, Houndstooth, which can be a little bit of a frustration to deal with, but we'll just work our way through it. Just work our way through it. There we go. We should be able to get rid of him now. So at this point, all we really want to do is be able to uh, keep our allies alive because we don't want to lose a unit. And we also need to gain taunt a couple of times, okay? So let's keep on using our specials here. Get rid of that Houndstooth. And we want to slow down that damage, okay? Slow down the damage. We don't want to completely get rid of the enemy. We want to just make sure that um, we can survive and they can survive long enough for us to get the taunts up that we need, okay? So I'm not going to use the special from comeuppance right now. We're just going to hold off because the game is kind of already won at this point. We just need to make sure that we don't lose any units. 
All right, so we can do the Holdo maneuver, but it's not really in our interest. So what we're going to do is we're going to reinforce with the SF-17 here. That's because we need to taunt another two times. So we're going to try and do that. There's one taunt at least. Let's just keep doing those basics over here. We don't want to kill that ship. Yeah, man, then. I think if we get another, um, another attack out of Hound's Tooth, then we should be able to... Another turn out of Hound's Tooth, sorry. Then we should be able to get that taunt up. All right, so they've come in with the uh, Echelon. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's the taunt. We've had our three taunts now. Now we can choose to finish off the match. Now, I don't know if using the Holdo Maneuver counts as losing a ship, so I'm not going to risk it just because I don't want to give you get you guys to this point and then find out that it doesn't actually work. So we're just going to play it cool, low and slow, all the way, baby. Take out the ships one at a time. My God, was that ungodly damage. Ungodly damage right there. All right, so we've just got the Special Forces pilot, is it? No, it's Standard Pilot. Well, we're just going to do a big hit. And booyah, and that's it. That's all the feats done with one fleet, with one team. Happy days. Everybody can go home a happy little clam. Now, if you don't happen to have any sort of decent resistance fleet, you can actually get it done with the Profundity as well, just using Millennium Falcon with the Rebel Y-Wing, and we are throwing in Ray's Millennium Falcon here and all of the resistance fleet. You're relying heavily on the Profundity to carry you through this. It can be done, though, so fear not, ladies and gentlemen, fear not. We're going to take the same approach as before. We want to focus exclusively on that... Um, uh, on the silencer at the start. I'm just getting rid of the stun off of my uh, off of my Rebel Y-Wing. The Rebel Y-Wing, by the way, will absolutely get all the taunts that we need. And we're just going to focus exclusively on that silencer. He is the big bad of this game right now. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a shield disruption. No such luck just there. We're going to do that wiggle action, gain some additional buffs. And let's see, we can look to reinforce. I mean, we could look to reinforce, but let's let's play this as if we can't actually uh, use any of our reinforcements to see if we can survive at least with the five resistance ships. Um, that's all we're going for right now. We're taking away all the protection from the silencer, so it's got that retribution. Here comes the Hound's Tooth. Hound's Tooth is going to do the stuff and the things. We're going to get rid of that taunt, and that means we can immediately focus back on that silencer. Now, I don't know if I want to do this AoE, so I'm just going to do that basic over there. And once again, we're going to shift the focus back over to uh, to the silencer. I'm passing the turn back over here to the Rebel Y-Wing, because my Millennium Falcon's about to take a turn anyway. Focusing down on that silencer. He is the big bad. We're going to see if we can do this with no reinforcements. We, we're probably going to lose a ship, unfortunately, because we don't really have the same recovery. Do a nice big AoE here. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. And then we're going to pass the turn. I, th I think I'll actually pass the turn back over to this Millennium Falcon over here. This is Ray's Millennium Falcon. And focus in on that silencer once again. It would have been great if we'd have helped him hit him into damage immunity the turn before. No such luck. Alrighty, so we are currently hunted. We've hit the damage immunity on our Rebel Y-Wing, which means it's probably going to fall pretty soon. Let's go ahead and uh, let's call that reinforcement over here. Okay, good. We've gotten rid of the silencer at the very least, so that's not the worst thing in the world. In fact, I'd say it's pretty good. I'd say it's pretty darn good. I'm going after the shuttle now for no real reason. I just find the shuttle to be quite an irritating ship in general. It's brought out the Echelon. Probably going to lose that Rebel Y-Wing any second now. Let's go ahead and get a heal up. Lovely. This is the great thing about the Profundity. is It is incredibly um, resist... Uh, uh, tenacious, you know? Not in the sense of tenacity, but it, it can... It has a lot of survivability, a lot of sustain in it. And this enemy fleet isn't actually uh, powering up too, too much. All right, so I'm going to pass the turn back over to our good little Rebel Y-Wing, hoping we're going to get some calls to assist here. Unfortunately, our Millennium Falcon, they did completely miss Kylo Ren's command shuttle. I'll do a big hit here. Slowly, slowly stacking up that damage. Thankfully, they keep on having to force the um, the big hit over there on the, <laughs> the Rebel Y-Wing. They, they, their ultimate, their hunted ultimate, has to go on him because he's always taunting. Oh my gosh. Come on. We need to survive here. We need to survive. We need some assists. Oh, every time we attack out of turn, we should be recovering health and protection. Oh, he's got heal immunity. Ah, okay, so that's definitely going to be the end of that Rebel Y-Wing. Definitely, any second now. There it goes. Come on. He's somehow surviving. I don't even know how. He's hanging on by, you know, 
hopes and dreams, I think, at this point. Hopes and dreams. All right. Let's go ahead and call in our Millennium Falcon to get rid of that taunt. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get rid of this shuttle now. Come on. There we go. The shuttle's gone. Great. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's see if we can get rid of the First Order TIE Fighter pilot. Some good assists there. Oh, we've hit damage immunity on Ray's Falcon. Because we are not taunting currently with the Rebel Y-Wing. That's not ideal. Let's uh, get a little bit of recovery going on. Come on. Good timing on that taunt. All right, let's uh, let's go over here. Got to try and get rid of this TIE Fighter pilot right about now. Good. Here we go. Come on. Take him out. I need an assist. I need an assist. So the reason I'm not calling in a reinforcement, guys, is I want to see just how much the profundity can carry, even if you've got trash tier resistance. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go after the uh, Special Forces TIE Fighter pilot now. Oh, I thought that was the other Falcon. I thought that was the other Falcon. I really should have used special there. Uh, let's go ahead and pass the turn back over to Ray's Falcon. And we'll do a little bit of that wiggle action. Get some of that bonus protection. All right, we're looking pretty good here. We are looking pretty good. I'm going to focus at least, at least a little bit of that John DiMaggio over there. That's a shame. That assist would have gotten rid of the Special Forces TIE Fighter pilot. <laughs> Hound's Tooth, once again, is taunting. So we need we need that special uh, that basic to come out of Ray's Falcon over here. Ooh, we've nearly gotten rid of him. We could actually just do a nice big AoE here. Lovely. We've got the damage immunity on the Hound's Tooth. Another AoE here. Deal some damage to that echelon. I don't want to eat that counterattack. Let's hopefully call an assist. Oh, beautiful. There goes the Hound's Tooth. And we've hit the ultimate as well. So... Here we've actually managed to get all the feats in one turn by using the Profundity. And I think there was a large element of luck involved there, guys. But I think we still would have actually won the battle. And the only thing you would have missed out on is winning with no losses. Now, simply, you could repeat that, uh, that same setup there with a full Profundity team just to go in and clear it out. But alternatively, you can get the win with no losses and the taunting with just straight up separatists using the, uh, the malevolence over here. So I'll just quickly run through that one just so we can get an idea of it. So here we go. Now, obviously, there is an element of RNG in this. You might lose, say, Sunfax uh, ship here, but I did do it first time <laughs> when I tried it earlier. So hopefully we can replicate that again. We're just going to do an AoE here, get some damage out on the board. And all we're looking to really do is focus down on that TIE Silencer. Now, I believe if you lose one of the summoned droid units, it doesn't even count as a lost unit. So uh, take that into consideration. Focus down the Silencer. He's always the number one threat. There we go. He's in that damage immunity. Fantastic. Now we just want to focus on everybody else. Save those buzz droids for when we really, really need it. And we're going to call in, target down the Silencer and call in Spy. I know we can't actually hurt this, uh, the TIE Silencer just yet, but we can get some big hits off. So let's just spread that damage around. Attack the people that we can. Just do a basic here. There we go. Get rid of the TIE Silencer as soon as the Echelon is... Uh, not the Echelon, sorry. The Command Shuttle is taking its turn. There it goes. It's out. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologize. That came out of nowhere. Okay, we're looking okay at the moment. I want to get rid of that heal immunity off of my son, Fak. And as soon as we get a turn with... Um, as soon as we get a turn with the Hyena Bomber, we should be able to ignore the taunt and go straight after the TIE Fighter Pilot. Now we just need to wait for Hound's Tooth to take its turn, and we should be golden. There we go. No losses. We didn't even lose a summoned droid. We would have got all the taunts there from the passive effect of Sunfak and Hyena Bomber. And you used it with no chips lost, unfortunately. You could try and do the same thing with the resistance there. Maybe drop out that vulture droid in the starting lineup and go with a full reinforcement fleet of resistance. But I think it's a little bit sketchier. All right, guys, that's going to about do it for today's episode of Galactically Challenged with your board hollywood boy Scribble. Hopefully it was useful to you. If it was, please hit that like button. If it wasn't useful, please hit that like button because I don't care. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And a huge shout out to my wonderful patrons. You guys are awesome. I will see you all in the very next video. Peace out. And may the force be with you.